Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Sim Airport, and it's time to continue saving up for our amazing improvements to our airport. And actually, kind of amazing. Look at that, they're working, which I feel is amazing. I don't feel like our pickup area is, is enough room, but I'm okay with that. We're working on it. They're no longer spilling out into the actual road, so we're doing good there. Garbage can be this small. Uh, deliveries, we can move back. So, we have options. We can decrease our loan today. Start saving up some money. Let's go ahead and work on our zones here. I'm not saying that we can get rid of these zones. I'm just saying we can adjust them a bit. Mostly because I don't want them to have to, to walk over there. And I hate that they're like wandering around over here. I don't want them to be over here. I'm almost wanting to be like security zone. But it doesn't work as a security zone. I don't know if that'll keep them from wandering over there. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, never mind then. I'm going to kill that. I could put some trees up. I put more trees there. I don't know. Waiting on that 50k to drop on our loan. Overall, the airport satisfaction, 80%. Not bad. Environment right now is our biggest poo-poo. And I don't know if that's because of grossness or if it's because of not enough frilly things in here to make them happy. I'm not sure. But we do have 50k, so we're going to decrease that loan. We're almost loan free, which is good. I don't know that we're at a break even point. I do think, while well, I have a little bit of cash, we're going to bring in two more janitors here. I think that was three janitors. Um, just to increase our speed at which we um, we clean up. Are our garbage containers at capacity at the end of the day? They are. Wow. That's impressive. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll move all of these back. The garbage zone just goes back here. Um... Why is there somebody in the garbage? Get out of the garbage. You don't need to be in there. Okay. So we dismantled them. We're going to put more in. Uh, dumpster. Start with just dropping these bad boys right here for them. Perfect. I'm going to do two rows of them. Look at that. Alright, we're out of the ones we own. So, we're now waiting on money. But you saw they actually got filled up. I'm kind of surprised by that myself. So we do two rows of dumpsters here. And that should give me enough dumpsters to store all this. Yeah. So what I could do is go in here to the zones and clean some of this zone out to like there. Um, I can't do a restricted zone, can I? No. I really just, I want them to be out of the way, and they're not going to be out of the way. Oh well. Dumpsters. I'm going to fill out our dumpsters here. I know we have a lot. How much are these dumpsters? Two grand a pop? Good lord. 
But by by having these two rows of dumpsters, I'm just I'm more satisfied in life, I think. And then we just we just wait. See what we can do. See if we can get another 50k today. And if we can get another 50k today, we can pay off even more of our debt. Then we can start work thinking about what we're going to do here. Now, I was told we could do two-way traffic, but I don't think you can anymore. I think they both go the same direction. So, I'm not sure about that. I think that's okay. We do need light rail service eventually. I don't know how we're going to do that. Let's look at a light rail station. I don't think we've researched that either. So we can't really look at it. Um, light rail platform. He's still got the cold. Yeah, that's not researched. Could research it. Could not research it. Upgraded buses even cost 30 grand. An extra bus every 30 minutes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to wait on any of those investments. I'm going to finish out my road here. I'm going to see if we can get enough money to do a single day loan. Well, see, these roads don't even fit. That's 16k. How are we doing this? They connect and go straight. So just connect. Go straight. 112,000. Alright. Ooh. Did not mean to take all that. We can do that though. Let's just go ahead and get this road built. Just get it out of the way. Uh, more than one delivery to zone. Okay. Hold on a second. I need to scale back my zones. There we go. Hopefully I didn't just screw my roads up and cost me money. I did. Okay. Let's go here like this. Thank you. Like that. And then that. And then we can take our planning out. Okay. Uh oh. This road will not work. Um, you need to be this road. In, around, and out. Uh, yeah, that works. No, get out of that. Okay. Now we'll have garbage and delivery pickups. And we won't have... We won't have any of this causing issues anymore. Well, at least issues for people that matter. I mean, if if my deliveries are held up because of garbage, I don't think it's a big deal. It's not holding my passengers up, so who gives a shit? You know what I mean? $9,000 in interest? Ah, that sucks. Oh, well. Garbage is going to come in get picked up here in a little bit we'll see a benefit out of this we've got it done that's what matters I guess 
We're at 150 grand loan. Uh, that hurts. I'm not even going to get to the 50k I need to actually steal or get that loan in a single day. I wouldn't mind getting to the point where we are making 100 grand a day, though. That would be good. Zones. I'm going to change our drop off zone a little bit to like this. And then cut that part out. Add that Q, that Q in here. Did that drop off really just fart out that one passenger who was like, yeah, I forgot that I, I needed my, my cheese. Pickups we'll put here. Perfect. And now they can leave because garbage is out of the way. Oh, that's actually really worth it. That was worth the hundred grand. We could actually split these in half and deliveries wouldn't be impacted. But again, deliveries, they're not as important. So that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, let's look at the research land. Finance. We're pretty much done with finance research. research. I almost can fire our COO. Or our CFO. I'll unlock pricing and then I'll fire that guy and reduce my staffing overhead. That's called intelligent liquidation of assets. It I don't know. That that's not what it's called. Redundancies. If we no longer need the CFO, then what's the point? Can we adjust the if the pricing if we have a CFO? I don't know that. I want to mess with pricing too much. So we're gonna we're gonna hold off on pricing land. Let's check our schedule and see if we actually have room for airlines. That might be a way we can bring stuff in. We do. We have a 10 a.m. flight, a 2 p.m. or 1 p.m. flight, and a 6 p.m. flight. Okay. So an evening flight, afternoon flight, and a morning flight. That works. Let's go. Uh, let's go hunting. You have a morning flight. It's 10 a.m. That's morning. Boom. Okay. That was a good chunk of cash. Let's get uh, an afternoon flight. I need a larger runway for that one. That's a morning flight. Nope. The larger runway is killing me. Afternoon. There we go. Oh, is that a, that's a bushcraft? God damn it! I wasn't paying attention. All they have are these beachcraft and bushcraft things. Those things are so weak. 19 passengers that's that's hardly any money at all it'll be a light time okay let's go with an evening flight from you guys night done bloop bloop here comes 50k bringing it in Just scored some runway or some some new flights. Just scored a decrease in the interest we're gonna pay today. I don't think it's gonna be a hundred k day, but I think it's gonna be a damn good day. I wish these guys were not so far away from.
from the building. I wish I could put in a staff only entrance. Ha. Door. Outer gate. Doesn't do a lot for me. Security exit. Not useful. Now we don't really have a way to, to keep people from escaping or from going into an area where we don't want them, you know? I don't know. Man, these electronic vending machines are still just raking in the cash. Look at this. That's not where we want to be. Uh, environmental heat map. We're good in a lot of areas. We're not great in others. Does look like we are getting stuff cleaned up pretty quickly, though. Okay, well, let's go to our, our P&L here. If you look at the vending machines, the electronic vending machines are bringing in $8,000 a day. The kiosks are just racking it up. The snack food kiosk is just killing it. I might be able to put a second one of those in and, and make even more money. My dessert kiosk is just killing it too. It's making $13,000 a day profit. I thought I had soda vending machines. I guess they're not... They're not really, you know, doing much for us. Oh well. The day's ended. We're going to get hit with six grand in interest. We should start the day in the positive at least, which means we can bring this down to a $3,000 fee interest loan. I'm going to call it interest a fee. But we're rocking it. We're making the monies. We're staying at about 80% satisfaction. We're in the high 70s for airline interest, which is fine. We are going to have a good day today with a full schedule here. That should bring in quite a bit of money. Quite a bit of money indeed. Oh, we already got hit with our interest. I didn't realize that. So yeah, we're at $12,000 at the beginning of the day. First flight landed. It's going to be a big day. $53,000 expenses. It's not bad. How much does it cost to hire a CFO? Five grand. $100 a month. So we could... $100 an hour. I am going to boot the CFO. How much does it cost to fire him? $2,500? you are going to save me money by being fired. Get the hell out of here. By firing him, it'll take 25 hours for us to break even, right, in savings. But my staff costs have gone way down, $100 an hour. That'll offset my janitors, which have a really low staff cost overall. $10 an hour. That's 10 janitors that firing him just paid for. So, yeah, we're all right. And I can still research the uh, the important things that we need to work on, like aviation ops. Uh, oh, that's cool. We can have a departing runway. 
and an arriving runway. Huh. We got a lot of stuff we can do. What are standby gates? Standby gate can be used to improve airport operation by reducing the number of canceled or delay flights. I don't know how that works. So would a gate just be a standby plane? So we would just have an extra plane just hanging out? They could fly off at any minute as we need it? That's interesting. If I had just like, you know... $10 million to start out with and design an airport. I wonder what kind of airport we could design. Okay, hold on. Decrease that loan. It's noon. We made 50 grand by noon. So we made $40,000 since the start of the day. Not bad. Not bad. Paid off a big ass chunk of that loan down to a $50,000 loan. We were back to where we started when we started the episode, which I actually think is a pretty good thing. Um, and while it may feel like we haven't made any progress, what we've done is we've sped up our traffic so we can get people in and out faster. We dropped below 80 on here. The environment's killing us. Hunger and boredom are up, too. Interesting. Well, if you're bored in an airport, you're kind of sad. I find airports to be very exciting. Rebecca Brady. Those bored people got out of here. I mean, we need to make the place nicer. We need to put more plants in and, you know, stuff. We need a better staging area for our cleaning crew, too. I kind of want to put the janitors like in a box over here with doors and gates that allow them to allow them to get in and out quickly. I'm just not sure what to do about that. I could build an area that's only secured doors on either side, these little gates, and see if my staff will go through them. So how does this work? So this means they can go through this way, but they can't come this way. So they can go this way, but can't come that way. I may try this for the janitor area, just to keep passengers from coming over here. Like put some wall up. And then put these down. And see if we can make an area where passengers can't come into. Oh no, we just lost a flight. I wasn't paying attention and just a flight just... A whole flight just left. Wow. Okay. I don't know what happened there. That cost me some money. We almost made another $50,000 today though. That is just crazy. Crazy money. Did somebody pull out? Is that what happened? We'd lose a flight? Uh, yeah. We've lost a 4 a.m. flight. Okay, well we have... Yeah, we just lost another flight. A noon flight. Why? Everybody's super happy, though. All right, well, let's let's bring in a noon flight and a morning flight and afternoon. That's a morning arrival. Boom. Afternoon arrival. Kaboom. Oop. Uh, there we go. Keeping it on time or keeping it full. That cost me quite a bit of money to lose them, though. That that really pissed me off. I hate it when they drop. And I'm not really sure why. My airline interest has gone down a little bit. My passenger satisfaction has gone up. I think the complaints from missing the flight... Uh, didn't help. 
Let's put it that way. Not sure, though. I guess maybe if my customer satisfaction is, is low, they're not going to be real happy. How do I get the environment up? Objects. It may improve their experience in their airport. Well, let's start throwing some plants out here. And then we'll do plant one here. There's a bag of trash just sitting there. Why? That doesn't help. That doesn't help at all. I've got like 20 janitors. Why is there a bag of trash just sitting there? Okay, so we got a shitload of plants now. That's lovely. I mean, we're funneling passengers at least, so I mean, that's something, but we're still sitting here looking at some ugly airport issues. Let's go to my heat map here. Oh, I fired that guy, so I can't see that anymore. Oh, that's what I needed him for. The bastard. Okay. Well, I guess we'll, we'll bring him back later. Loan's completely paid off. We have completely paid the loan off. That is wonderful. So we're just going to... Oh, we don't have the money for that anymore. We're just going to try to boost the environment with objects while we rely on our uh, janitors to do the rest. And, I mean, information's really good. It's, it's the environment they're not happy about. Oh, that can't be placed indoors. Uh. There. There's a crap load of plants. At least we're at to 52% on the environment. That's good. Boredom and hunger. It looks like they want more than just the kiosks for hunger. Not sure though. We got got a lot of options. I wish we had like a giant fountain that we could put outside. Tree one. All right, we'll put some trees in, make our roads look better. We're almost to 60%. That's good. Maybe the airlines will stop dropping if everybody thinks it's real pretty. I guess we'll bring the CFO back next episode, bastard. Taking all my money. But it does feel like not being able to see those uh those spreadsheets is a detriment ultimately and yeah i don't think i can have like a a staging area for my people so i've decided here we're going to put a restaurant just do a full service restaurant area in here. That'll help with a lot of this issues that a lot of the issues we're having for hunger. We hit 81%, which is good. That's new for us. Haven't been to 81% before. Well, at least in this latest iteration. And as long as we don't lose any more freaking airlines. 
We should be okay. Yeah. We got a nice, fat, packed schedule. And our, our airport is running fairly well. I think it's time to start planning our expansion out to adding another runway. And then looking at everything else. So foundation... That's going to cost $210,000. And then the runway itself. Aircraft gate small. We have a small one now. The runway itself. And this is just to put in the basics. It's going to cost another hundred grand. So we need $300,000 to do that. I can pull the loan. We can actually come back from that loan, I think. We'll see. Because we're about to do it. Boom. All right. The big expansion's coming. In the next episode, we'll be looking at how we can bring in what we need. Fuck it. In the next episode, we're going we're gonna to have everything we need. Um, oh, I need another 100 grand. We're going crazy here. Look at this. We just spent $300,000. We can't afford it. But we're going to see if we can figure out how to. Real quick. $15,000 a day is going to go into interest. So we $18,000. We make roughly fifty-seven. dollars we can afford that if we can float two days. Every two days we pay 50 grand off. And then we'll just slowly make more money as we go. That's how we're going to have to do it. We can't afford to have any more people leave. But I think we can manage it. I think we can do it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, throw them in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when to get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.